going straight to ads. Let's see what we got coming up. We got Congo Saga coming up in three weeks. Now, or not even. It's like two weeks. Two weeks. Two and a half weeks. Yeah, it's two and a half weeks. Not a little dated, but it's all yeah. right. So, yet again, this is probably going to be the last major of the year. You know, definitely show up. It's going to be just a wacky event, you know? I, I can see so many. We're going to have crews. We're going to have uh, squad strike. We're going to have doubles. We're going to have amateur bracket. You know, so many different setups, so many different exhibitions and vendors. You know, definitely, this is the final big hurrah for the year. Yep, yep. And partnered with Nintendo as of today. Oh, yeah. And as of just recently, we are partnered with Nintendo for this tournament, you know? And that's... That's one of the things where, like, Nintendo hardly ever gives their sponsor to tournaments, but 2GG upholding Nintendo's values and standards for quality tournaments. And this is going to be the biggest of the big, you know? It's a 2GG saga. Okay, next up. All right. Next up, we got the Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, Switch giveaway. So, yet again, follow, subscribe, now do all the, the social media stuff. But, yet again... I, I, I played through the game myself. I just beat it. It's a really fun game. I, it, it is so much fun to play. And I feel like there are definitely criticisms about it. That, that's fair. But I feel like it's still a game worth playing. Definitely, if you haven't had the chance, go out and, and buy it yourself. You know, it's I can't recommend it enough. Then coming into the new year, we got SoCal Chronicles. You no. Know, this is if, have you just been in SoCal? Are you a Wi-Fi warrior? Are you a stream fiend and just never gone into the scene? This is the new year. Go to this tournament. You will make friends. You will find people. You'll honestly not regret going to this tournament. This is a tournament where like you can kind of like start fresh and be like, okay, new year, new me, new people, let's go. And with that, that is the final ad, and we shall be going straight into Grand Finals. And you know what? I feel like... Yep. Yep. Javi? No, I, I said I was going to mute. Oh, all right. Okay, and now we are just waiting on the players to you know decide what characters to pick and if they want to counterpick. Here we go, Terry Dittos for game one. Three, two, one, go! No, this, this is a character that you know, both players just love to play. And, and again, I'm going to go for the, the gentleman at the beginning. And, and again, Terry is one of those characters where like, he has so many wacky combos and shenanigans that he can play. Really heavy too, and just really good combo game. But it's like, God, a horrible recovery. Jab, jab, uh, uh, down beat. And trying going for the spike, not gonna get the sweet spot. Yet again, there's a jab, jab, down beat, not gonna be able to connect. And he tries uh, attacking him, but you know what? He doesn't get the turn on the time, so he gets the crack shoot instead of the, the, of the wall. Or the, or the burning fire, yeah. burning that ball. Burning that ball. You know, now T3 has been having the the go meter, so now now he has to worry about you know, Buster Wolf coming in or Power Gazer. Are you okay? Oh, he wanted Buster Wolf. Did not confirm into it because he did not get the the, the troop confirm into the same jab. And again, that's kind of like the. The, the hesitation that you have to deal with when you're not used to playing Terry is, you know, you have all these cool confirms, but you have to know exactly how they confirm, otherwise, knowing they're not going to be able to connect properly. And now, Nitro with the go gauge. But, yet again, a quick back air will stuff out the recovery. And I was really good on uh, T3 to just kind of finish him out before the go meter can become a problem. And just all these up airs, you know, just not letting T3 land at all. And again, 
again. Down tilts are not safe on block at that range. E3 just trying to go for these Buster Wolves, but just not going to troop from the connected way. Up smash will take the stock right there. Here we go. Now we have Nitro just kind of sitting in the lead. No, being comfortable. Here we go. Jab into forward. Yeah, again, you have to say forward B or forward special and back special because they are two different specials now. There's the Buster Wolf. It's not going to be enough damage, but it is like 30%, so it is really good damage. But down smash, going to hit, you know, Terry off of his up you know, it's just such horrible, like, grabbing the tank. And it's down, yeah, again, down tilt, down tilt, side B is enough to clean up the stock and Nitro takes game one. Okay. And where are we going to go for game two? I mean, they might just do Terry to those for uh, all three games. Or at least three games. At least one more game, yeah. Here we go, game One, two. Go Try to cross up, but you know what? You cannot cross up Terry because he will just auto turn around and hit you for crossing up the shield if you're doing that. And then they're coupling into the jump jab. Here we go, quick back air again off stage. And now he's on. Good. Uh, space that properly, you know, it's not going to fall into the down smash like he did like two earlier. But that down smash will just catch the neutral get up right there. That's kind of the, the thing about Terry is that like he has no good moves to hit you on off of leg. You know, maybe down tilt, but like, are you really gonna like, worry about being my down tilt on off leg? So you can just kind of plank against Terry and just watch, watch him do like what he's he gonna do. You can't do anything off of that. There you go. Down throw. Up here, up B, we'll get him nice 30 points. And again, comboing the, the board until into the side beam. It's really good shield damage. They did like a third of the shield. But like, they only left him like a third of the shield left. But you know, the early up B, not going to work out for him. And again, not going to be on. But the power gazer almost breaking his shield right there, but you know, not quite. And there we go. Buster Wolf and. There we go. That's the first time his uh, jab jab used the Buster Wolf has finally connected. There we go. Down throw up there. Up B. And yet again, another clean 34% right there. And there we go. Up to the Power Geyser, too. Now Nitro really needs to finish the stock out soon. And there he goes. But you know what? Nitro did take an up B right there. So he is almost at go percent. And there he is. Now, now T3 has to worry about Nitro potentially bringing his game back. Well, oh, gets the parry, but you know what? Barely going to avoid the foretell. There's the jab jab. Uh, down B again. I want to see forward, forward special, but you know what? Uh, it's the down special. There we go, another jab jab down B, you know, opting not to go for the, the Buster Wolf for the Power Geyser on the back. And there we go, there's the first Power Geyser. Not gonna connect it, there we go, there's the Buster Wolf! And the Buster Wolf will take it. You know, Nitro taking it just barely, you know, he, was, he definitely brought that whole stock back. And you know what? T3 just opting to stick with, or maybe not. Maybe maybe he wants. To, oh no, no, God, pick the right song. All right, all right, you gotta get the right tunes. And Stop the battle. Here we go. The hero, the hero is coming out. My God. D3's hero is like, it, it's definitely wacky. It, 
Like, I feel like you can say that about anybody that, like, has a hero. It's just that, like, it, 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 it exists, you know? And depending on, like, how good or not, it's just the, the luck of the day, you know? No, but all these, no, you know, um, no, burning shots. Just, no, T3 wants to kind of pull up his bullet, but no, all these projectiles on the ground. Just, like, not gonna let him do any of that. I guess that's the nice thing about uh, fighting against you know, the, the jury is that you don't have to worry about being edgeboarded. So, like, Jerry can't really afford to go off stage, really. Oh no! Oh no, here, dodge! Yeah, you could, you could tell that the second he did it, like, he was like, I have made a mistake. And uh, he just ate two power geyser and he's at 70. Again, Buster Wolf not gonna connect and it will be punished. And again, it does lose out the shield. But... There we go. Jeff Jeff Bumby not gonna be able to connect. All the power waves just kind of, kind of just harassing the hero. You know what, that fully charged side B, really strong move, but only if the opponent kind of just is in close base for you, know, it, it, it has a whole lot of head lag, so. But the Kaboom will suck him into that. And again, not gonna get hit by the Buster Wolf. He does have that. And again, trying to catch the normal get up, and now he has Go Gage and Zone. Almost falls for that, but you know, it gets, you know, people turn around and send it in the wrong direction. Yeah, the magic burst, you know. It, to be fair, he had seven entities, and that magic burst was super weak. I, I figured, like, you know what, he's at 180. It should probably kill, but no. You know, magic burst does scale on the amount of MP you have. I mean, if you have no MP, then, like, that magic burst is just gonna be so weak. And that's the other thing that you have to worry about in the match is that if he has go gate, you can't just uh, full hop or like short hop in neutral because he can just throw out that power geyser and just, you know, whack him here for that. And he, he thought he didn't have Chris fully charge up, but unfortunately he did, and he just wasted a whole bunch of mana and a fully charged Chris. We throw him off stage, trying to go for the ledge option. There we go, he caught him without that jump! Almost got the board trash screen off the air dodge, but you know, just barely able to drift away to avoid it. Again, but fading out the side B right there. Not gonna be able to find his mark. Goes for the zoom. And yet again, Nitro trying to read the landing. Not gonna be able to fight uh, Ruben in time. You know what, now we got Psych up, so. so bad. And Drop shield to the down B. And he still has psych up. And just like that, he loses it. But you know what? Shield is super low. He can just you know, get a really strong move on his shield and he might be able to break it. Fortunately, Crack is going to go over for that, so he's not going to be able to find his mark. Now, oh, parries it, but doesn't follow up with anything. You know, every time you see him throw his knuckle on the ground, you're not sure if it's going to be the power geyser or the power wave. You know? Oh, but yet again, just turning around, he's just throwing out all these power geysers, hoping one of them will hit. And it, oh my god, just, just an up smash, just an up smash to end the game. And like that, Nitro takes grand finals and a quick 3-0. Well, folks, that is the end of the night. You know, good, good job to both players. And yeah, I mean, it was it was fun, definitely seeing a, a, a Terry Ditto for Grand Finals. But now we are going to wrap things up. It is getting late. Hubby, any final messages that we need to send to the viewers? All right. Hobby is saying, wait a moment, he's got one last thing. All right. 
And with that, we have Javi on the mic. Javi, any final messages for the viewers? Uh, nothing really. Just a, another average WNF. Uh, right. Apologies for the camera um, a little earlier once again. Batteries right. for this particular camera are very expensive. They're like $90 a piece. Yeah, I mean, that's the price of good tech right there. Yeah. But with that, you know, it has been.